Hello, lovely people. It's officially sweater weather. Ooh, <laughs> I like how I said that. Sweater weather. It feels so nice pronouncing that. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just so nice. Anyways, it's officially fall. I had to Google when does fall begins because I had no idea. And let me tell you. He's been here for a while and it starts on September 23rd. So if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> Just some random information. Today I decided to do a faux inspired look. I love the orangey shades on the eyes, the darker lip color. Everything about this look has that faux vibe. So I hope you guys like it and let me show you how I created it. Go! Some lip balm on my lips before we get started. And I haven't styled my hair in a messy bun for so long. It's probably been a couple of months. I kind of missed the bun life. Let me know down in the comments how often you wear your hair in a bun. I should wear mine like this more often, I think. So, starting off by priming the face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier foundation primer. I'm gonna apply it on my face using a brush. I think that it's best if you can use your fingers to apply your primers. However, <sighs> I did something silly. <laughs> Before I started recording this video, I applied some hand cream on my hands and I don't want to mix the primer with the hand cream and apply that on my face. So that's why I'm using brush. However, if your hands are all clean, definitely use them to apply your primer. All right, all nice and primed. I'm gonna spray my face with the Tarte Stay Spray. For foundations, I'm gonna shake them first. I'm gonna use this Weva um, Authentic Skin Foundation in the shades Ambition and Charismatic. Charismatic is a little bit too dark for me. I'm gonna take two pumps from it and one pump of Ambition, like this, on the back of my hand. I'm gonna mix them up. I used to use the handles of my brushes to mix my foundations, but I was not cleaning it after that <laughs> and I was forgetting that I had foundation on the handle of that brush and everything was getting so messy and now I'm just using a q-tip and once I'm done I just whoop, throw it away <laughs> and everything is nice and clean. I knew that I would love this foundation. It's just so lightweight. I knew that I would love it ever since I first tried it out. It's the consistency that I'm looking for. It gives me that medium coverage. It's just nice. It's a nice foundation. And I'm switching to a brush and I'm bringing it all the way down my neck. And now whatever I have on that brush, I just brush it through my hairline to get some product there. You don't want to apply foundation in your hairline, so use whatever you have left on your brush to bring it on your hairline, especially if the foundation is not 100% matching with your skin. Uh, I should have used two pumps of the lighter shade. I think this is a little bit too dark for me. Just a tiny little bit, but we're gonna make it work. Quickly moving on to the brows, getting rid of any foundation that I might have on them. Look, all of this foundation was on my brows. I'm gonna brush them up with some clear brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 Hours Brow Setter. <laughs> you guys, look at that piece of hair. <laughs> It's like I have one of those, I don't know how they're called. I'm gonna insert a photo here. I don't know how these are called, but it, it looks like I have one of those on the top of my head. Look at that. It moves exactly like them. <laughs> Bobby pin and done. For my brows, I'm gonna use some brow powder. This will make them look a little bit more natural. It will give them a little bit more soft finish. So I'm using the Sigma color plus shade brow powder duo in medium. And quickly cleaning up the bottom of my brows with some concealer. And I'm gonna also bring some of that same concealer all over my eyelids and use it as an eyeshadow primer. I want to keep today's eye look as simple as possible, so I'm taking this Morphe 3502 palette. Shadows look like this inside. 
I'm always losing those. And Morphe has the name of the eyeshadows written on this. How are these called? I keep forgetting my English today. Paper? That's not paper. It's like nylon. I don't know. Plastic? Anyways, I'm gonna lose that in the next two minutes, so yeah, forget about it. They need to have the name of the eyeshadow, it's like... Oh. 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 <laughs> My nail. I'm sorry, little eyeshadow. Ooh. They should have the names of the eyeshadows written somewhere here, right? So anyways, I'm gonna start off by taking this first color here. I'm applying it all over my eyelid. Oh, that's a very nice, kind of like pumpkin color. And now I'm gonna switch to a clean blending brush. This is the Sigma E25. And I'll start diffusing the edges. Then I'm gonna go in with this darker shade here. I'm taking it again on that Sigma E25 and I'm bringing it in the outer third of my eye. I also take just a tiny little bit of this color as well. As you can tell, it's way, way darker than this one. But I want to add some depth in the outer corner of my eye, so that's what I'm using it for. Switching to a clean blending brush and blending everything out. Oh, now these are the perfect fall colors. <sighs> so pretty. I really love how this look is coming out. And I don't want to um, make it more intense. Of course, I'm going to add some eyeliner and poses, but I don't want to load it with too many eyeshadows. I could add shimmers. I was planning on doing that, but I'm not going to do it. It is very difficult for me to skip them, but I think that since we're doing a little bit more dark look and we're going to be wearing more dark lips, let's try to keep the eyes a little bit more toned down. They're not going to be like super toned down, but let's not load them with too many stuff. I'm going to create a nice baby wink using the Sigma Gel Eyeliner in Wicked. This is, by the way, a fresh one. It's a good eyeliner day for me today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face makeup and then I'll go back to the eyes. I like applying my falsies towards the end of my makeup routine. Before I use any concealer under my eyes, I like removing most of the foundation that I have on there because that way I'm letting as little product under my eyes as possible. I find that when I use some color corrector, right in this little area here everything looks so much better and the concealer does so much better job that neutralizes that blue color that i have here for concealer i'm taking my nars radiant creamy concealer i will also add just a tiny little bit of my tarte shape tape in the shade light neutral just a little bit like this I'm setting the places on my face where I usually get a little bit more oily, which is, you know, the center of my forehead, down my nose, the sides of my nose, my chin. And whatever I have on my brush, I'm just bringing it in the areas where I'm gonna apply my bronzer, not bronzer, my blush, and my contour. And a little bit under my eyes to lock that concealer in place. I think I basically set my entire face. <laughs> powder makes my makeup last longer. However, I would not use any powder on the days that I feel like my skin is too dry. If my skin is too dry, the powder will make my makeup look so bad. So it really depends on the condition of my skin, if I'm gonna use powder or not. Contouring, contouring, contouring. Now for contouring, I'll go with my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Moving on to the blush, this is the Colourpop Fresh in Peachy. Let's bring some highlights and glow to the skin. This is going to be the first time that I'm trying out this Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. That's intense. 
glowy, 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 glowy. Okay, I might have used a little bit too much here. <laughs> Just gonna take my sponge, spray it with some setting spray. This is again that tired stay spray. Just press it on this area here and see how this really quickly tone it down. Boom. From this to this. This makes every highlighter look so much more natural, you guys. I promise you, if you try spraying your sponge with some setting spray and then pressing it on top of your highlighter, you will see a huge difference on how your highlighter looks. It's an extra step, but it's so worth it. Okay, so that's pretty much all for the face makeup. Now going back to the eyes. I didn't thought that this eyeshadow would be so pretty. Like I thought it would be a little bit more like a pale kind of orangey shade, but it's as I said, it's a really nice pumpkin color. By the way, talking about pumpkins, I a few months ago I tried to make pumpkin soup. Uh I tried three times. It was okay, but there was something that wasn't going right. I tried three different recipes. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or the recipes wasn't the best. I just couldn't figure out why I didn't love it. I've never had a pumpkin soup made by somebody else. I probably should. It was okay, but not something that I would crave ever again. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I don't know how I even started talking about pumpkin soup. It's so random, but I'm going back to that first eyeshadow that I used. I'm taking it on a nice flat brush and I'm gonna bring it under my eyes. It's the pumpkin soup season right now. And you guys, if you, I'm sure that most of you know how a pumpkin soup looks like, but it looks so vibrant and so delicious like that really nice orangey color oh, it's like this must taste amazing and then you taste it and it's like meh okay i'm really curious to know if it's just me i i can't figure it out now i'm gonna take some of this shade and also bring it under my eyes i'm keeping it mainly in the outer half of my eyes. For my faces today, I'm gonna go with this pair here by House of Lashes. These are called Siren Double. And boom! Lashes are on. I think all we have left are the lips. So I'm super super excited for this bolder lip color that I'm gonna be wearing today. I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with this lip pencil by Lord and Berry. And I'm gonna finish it up some setting spray. I have some setting spray in my nose. <laughs> and this is our final look. I just love how it came out, you guys. I think I'm gonna call this look pumpkin soup smoky eye. <laughs> it's so random. The colors are definitely not as saturated as the um, pumpkin soup ones, but I think it's pretty. It's nice. It's faux. It's pumpkin inspired. Pumpkin slash faux inspired. Oh no, I just realized I forgot to put on earrings. If I had pumpkin earrings, like small, this size little pumpkins, I would definitely wear them today. Okay, I need to stop talking about pumpkin. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't there already. If you press that bell button, which is right next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Definitely go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. On Instagram, I post some Instagram exclusive makeup tutorials. So definitely go follow me on there because you don't want to miss them. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you my next one. Bye!